Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome to the channel. So today's going to be a short video, no fancy intros. There is a March update reveal or a teaser that is on the official webpage. I'll leave a link down in the description, but we're going to go through this. Um, from what I heard, there is going to be a roadmap. There's new raids. Now, there is a hint of a new class. I'm not sure if that's actually mentioned in this post, but I'm sure it will be revealed in the roadmap. So let's go ahead and trudge through this update. Heroes of Arcadia, while we launched a few shorts a week ago, the fans of Lost Ark know that there is a wealth of content present in the Korea version that has yet to make its way to the western shores of Arcadia. So if you guys are familiar with the Russian Korean content, there's a lot more of it, it goes all the way up to tier six. So there's a lot of content, okay? So the rate at which they're going to release that to us here in Europe, US, it's going to be at a throttled rate, you know, just keep people interested. They want to release all at once because it will basically overwhelm everyone and they won't have any content to release to us, guys. So they're going to time gate it out. So I'm very much looking forward to see what's going to be coming next. I know there's painter class. There's a painter class I really want to play. There's the summoner class I'm really looking forward to. Um, so hopefully that's mentioned here. Uh, if not, then uh, hopefully it will be in the roadmap. So March content. So we will get, uh, please note the following features are not a complete list of content included in March update, yada yada. So story episode, the uh, Kadon includes Hysteria and Illusion Bamboo Islands. Okay, so we're gonna get new islands from this, very cool. Experience a new storyline complete with its own quest, new islands, cinematic moments. These quests will include a cast of new and returning characters as you learn more about the side reels in search of legendary Kadan, the first Guardian Slayer, in your journey to find the final arc. Players will need to have completed Phaeton alongside completing the following quests, yada yada, in order to participate. So this is definitely going to be tier 3 content because of this line right here. I'm level 1100, which uh, I myself, is, I'm like halfway between tier 2 and tier 3 content with a very casual grinding. So by the time this launches, I'm sure um, the casual player can get close to this anyway. So. We have an abyss way, abyss way, abyss raid Argos. So another one of these damned Pokemon Entei dogs. Like th these things are pretty. <laughs> Some of them are kind of tough. The uh, the Vitrus or whatever his name is. Uh, Vi, uh, he's 960 iron level. Um, that dude was tough. Um, the, the the lightning boy. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was only able to beat him once I had like 1150 or excuse me 1050 iron level because running that with pug groups is uh, it, it's rough. So. All right, let's get into it. Uh, encounter an entirely new in-game activity, Abyss Raids. Similar to the Guardian Raids, players will need to work together to defeat a Guardian before time expires. With a limited number of revives available to a party, so nothing's changed there, Abyss Raids will pit eight players against a Guardian. But these are bigger, better, much more difficult than your average Guardian. So this kind of goes back to uh, Amazon nerfing all the raids. Um, not a big fan of that. I do appreciate a good challenge, but again, the real content really isn't until you hit tier 3 content so i kind of understand why they nerfed the tier 1 tier 2 raids just so people can get to that point more easily um but uh players will need to progress through the three distinct phases as they work together to vanquish their titanic foe in the three phases the guardian will grow more powerful with different mechanics and attack patterns that's awesome i love a challenge so uh, each phase has its own rewards a little collectible once a week and different iron level requirements for players to participate so it's kind of like tiered content and that's pretty cool like different phases you get a loot drop or you know tier one tier two tier three phase whatever uh, that's really good because nothing's more annoying than getting boss down like two percent just failing you know after like a 20 minute endurance fight right um a lot of this goes back to world of warcraft so that's pretty cool you're gonna get rewards for each phase that you beat uh, argos will be available the, the abyss race sanction major cities gotcha uh, this isn't all the content that will be included in the march update stay tuned for the full release notes including details on additional changes and bug fixes We'll share more, including the date and plan downtime closer to when the update is ready. Make sure you're following us on social media, yada yada. So there really isn't a mention of a class. I do predict that there is going to be a class at the tail end of March or maybe going into April, because quite frankly, um, I mean, there are a lot of classes, but um, I feel that it's important to kind of keep the ball rolling. I know in Korea, there's like four or five other classes that they can just roll out at any time. So I'm sure when the game starts to die off, get a little bit dead that they will definitely release a new class. Um, but yeah, so this has been the news, trying to keep the video uh, nice and short and sweet. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments of uh, what the roadmap is going to be like. I'm really looking forward to that. And be sure to like and sub to the channel if you want to be notified of future content from me. I do a lot of PvP, do some PvE, not really 
too much but mostly pvp oriented videos and then of course i'll be covering news on lost ark as well as other mmos and specifically the elder scrolls online which i've been played for the past seven years so all right uh that's it for the video guys have a great night peace